Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about Alaskan Malamute before start don't forget to like and subscribe my channel for more videos. The Alaskan Malamute is a member of the Spitz family of dog breeds and was bred by the Inuit people to pull their sleds. They have a similar appearance to the Siberian Husky, but when they stand side by side, the giant, fluffy Malamute dwarfs the Husky. This breed is friendly, intelligent and full of energy, which makes them the perfect pet for an active family. They do have a bit of a stubborn streak, however, so owners need to establish themselves as the leader right from the start with gentle but consistent training. Alaskan Malamute Appearance Alaskan Malamutes are sturdy, muscular dogs whose breed was created for sled pulling. They have dark, medium-sized eyes and small triangular ears. The most striking feature of this breed is the distinctive markings on their faces, which are mostly white with a colored bar or mask near the eyes. Their thick fur comes in a variety of colors, like black and white, gray and white, or red and white, and their beautiful, fluffy tails curl gently over their backs. Alaskan Malamute Size and Weight Alaskan Malamutes are large working dogs. They weigh between 75 and 100 pounds and stand between 23 and 25 inches tall at the shoulder. The males of this breed tend to be a bit larger than the females. Alaskan Malamute vs. Siberian Husky The most striking difference in appearance between Malamutes and Huskies is their size, with the Malamute being much larger than the Husky. Huskies have smaller heads, and their ears are closer together than the Malamute. They are also well known for their bright blue eyes, whereas Malamutes, like most other breeds, have brown eyes. Both breeds have a variety of fur colors, such as black, gray or red markings on white bodies, but only the Siberian Husky can have agouti coloring. Alaskan Malamute Common health issues like many other large breeds, Alaskan Malamutes often fall victim to hip and elbow dysplasia. They are also prone to clotting issues due to a hereditary condition called thrombopathia. Inherited polyneuropathy is another hereditary disease that breeders should screen for in their breeding animals. This disease can cause limb and facial paralysis, spatial disorientation and slowed heartbeat. Malamutes may also face health issues like chondrodysplasia, dwarfism, hypothyroidism, day blindness and von Willebrand's disease. As with any purebred animal, the key to reducing these complications is responsible breeding. Make sure your new pup comes from a reputable breeder, and have him evaluated by a veterinarian to make sure he has a clean bill of health. Alaskan Malamute Temperament Alaskan Malamutes are friendly, intelligent and energetic. This breed won't make a good guard dog. He would rather befriend strangers than defend his home against them. Although the Malamute was bred as a pack dog, he is just as content with his human pack as he is with other dogs. Unlike the other breeds in the Spitz family, Malamutes are fairly quiet dogs. They will talk to their owners and let loose the occasional howl, but they aren't nuisance barkers. Alaskan Malamutes have a strong prey drive, so they aren't suitable for households with small animals. They also need to be secured at all times. Even well-trained Malamutes may run from their masters if the mood strikes them. Best Alaskan Malamute Insurance Like other large dog breeds, Alaskan Malamutes are susceptible to hip dysplasia, and their purebred status leaves them at risk of several hereditary disorders, so it's important to find an insurance company that will cover these types of conditions. As such, it's a good idea to get comprehensive pet insurance when you bring them home. The younger they are, the less likely they will be to have pre-existing conditions that could disqualify them from coverage.